Yeah, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching across the globe. Uh, my name is Smoddy Collins and um, I want to specially welcome you to another tutorial on how to use Aspen Hisis for your process simulation of process modeling. And um, today we'll be handling oil characterization. I'll be using Aspen Hisis version 10. Okay. All right, so um, if you've gone through my past videos, you'd have seen that I've handled a lot of a lot of um, a lot of ways to use Aspen Hisis to 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 simulate your process. Okay, we've handled different unit operations. We've handled them um, how to define your component stream. We've also handled how to um, select the appropriate fluid package for your for your simulation. And today we'll be handling oil characterization. Okay, in Aspen Hisis, um, there is no component known as crude oil. Okay, and in the oil and gas, we understand that what is majorly um, processed is crude oil. Okay, when it's drilled from the oil well, sometimes it, it comes out, sometimes it's all gases, sometimes the well contains gas, crude oil, and water. Alright, so, but what they do is that the crude will be analyzed and um and the the assay data will be given to you to use to model um the crude oil given to you okay so today we have um, a chromatographic data which i'll be imputing so i would like you to just follow follow through and at the end of the day it, it will be so clear on how to make use of um aspen high seas for your um for your oil characterization okay now you can see this this is oil manager all right so this is what we're using to characterize our oil but in the data given to us we have some light ends which i have to add first so to add my light ends i'll come to the component list all right we've learned how to add components initially so for the light end we have nitrogen We have H2S of H sorry H2S H2S we have CO2 okay then we have um, we have methane to N6 that um hexane so instead of adding them one after the other i'll just highlight it to n6 and um and add all right and i have um, water all right um as you can see my co2 didn't add my co2 didn't add okay all right so that's my co2 and it's supposed to be after h2s so i'll just add it all right so i have all the light ends everything i have nitrogen i have h2s co2 methane to end hexane and water so i have to select my fluid package Right, since you're dealing this is an oil and gas process, the best is Pen Robinson or CPA or, or use SRK. So for this we'll be using our Pen Robinson. So the next thing is to come to our oil manager. Okay, click on the oil manager. Alright, so this is our oil manager. So the next step, if you, if you look at this, you see input assay, output blend. So there are three major ways or three major steps to um, oil characterization the first is assay calculation the second is blending of oil and the third is installation of oil all right so we have to impute the assay, um, assay data that has been given to us all right and then um, after that we blend the calculated assay and then we install the oil it's as simple as that those are the three steps so the first thing to do is to impute assay all right 
I'm sorry, I'm actually having flu this morning. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead. Now, after clicking on Impute Assay, you see, um, you see um, Add, you see Oil Manager, and you see Output Blend and all of that. So we click on Add. Alright. When you click on Add, you can see my cursor. You can see Assay One, right? You can change this from Assay One to anything you want. You can you can rename it. So I want to rename it to crude oil. So all I did was to right click and and click on rename. All right. So that's crude oil. Okay. So I click on OK. As you can see, the name has changed. All right. So when we merely we clicked on Add, this environment came out. Now you can see bulk properties. There are three options in bulk properties. Um, the options are um, not used and used now if you if you select not used it simply means that you don't know what the specific gravity of the oil or you don't know what the molecular width is all right but in the in the data given to us we have we have the molecular weight and we have the standard density which is specific gravity all right so you go straight to the essay data all right um there are different types of essay data we have the TBP, that's the true boiling point data. We have chromatography data. We have the ASTM, D160, and a whole lot of that. So you have to select the assay data type that you have. Okay, the data given to you, you need to know the type of data that, that was given to you. So the data we're working with is a chromatography data. So I'll click on this drop down and select chromatography. Okay all right now the next stop that will come out is your light end there are three options for light end we have the ignore we have the heat composition and we have the auto calculate all right when you click on ignore you're simply giving aspen heises um the privilege of um of it uh specifying your light ends to be pseudo components okay and then um, in our characterization it is the the least effective all right so i don't advise you to use ignore now the second is impute composition when you click on impute composition it simply means that you know the compositions of the light ends given to you you get it so you have the compositions given to you now auto calculate simply means that you know the components but you don't know the composition so you want aspen heises to assume compositions for the light component that you have okay so in a case where you know the components and the compositions of the component we're not giving to you so auto calculates can fit in but impute comp composition is when you have the compositions of the components of that um that that you have okay all right so we know our light and light and components all right and we know the composition so we simply click on impute composition now if you look at this side of my screen you'll see that we have five different types of radio buttons we have our bulk properties we have our light ends we have our paraffinic aromatic and neptonic so um we'll start from the bulk properties okay now the the molecular width of this crude was given to us and um, the standard density was also given so the molecular weight was given to be 79.6 79.6 and the standard density was given to be uh, 0 0.6659 0 0.6659 sg 60 API okay so we have imputed the data we have from our bulk property so the next thing is the light end all right so also make sure that your light end basis is is um is the same thing that was given to you in the data sheet all right so what we have in our data sheet is more percent and what we have here is liquid volume percent so i have to simply change it to more percent all right so let me impute the compositions 
in my data sheet so my trojan is 0 0.48 of um, oxygen h2s is 0 0.87 just follow okay so 41.83 Eight point eight seven seven point one 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 point four seven three point seven five one point five one point six three Yeah, so um added the compositions for the light ends. Alright. Um please do well to subscribe to my channel and um you, you're gonna have be seeing a lot of videos on how to make use of aspen ices, okay? So the next thing is the paraffinic. So I click on the paraffinic radio button and um I have to impute the values given from hexane. Um it's a lot of a lot of low values actually. <laughs> Your values so okay. All right, so we don't impute in um, the paraffinic, so we'll go straight to the aromatic. All right, the aromatic, and um, I have um, 0 0.0004, 0 0.0015, 0 0.0015, 0 0007. Um, zero point zero zero two eight two eight half zero point zero zero two eight. All right, so we're done with these and we go straight to the naphtonic. Naphtonic and um, uh, zero point zero 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 two zero point zero one zero six. 0 0.005 0 0.056 okay so we're done imputing our value so all i need to do is calculate blend so i calculate my assay rather okay I haven't done that the next step i said the first one is assay calculation the second one is um blending of oil so i'll go straight to output blend and um click on add click on add so the next thing i need to do is to um add the available assay to the oil flow information so i just click on add that's the uh, available assay is crude oil that's one we just finished calculating so i'll click on the add okay all right so in oil blend we have um, what is known as cut range we have three types of cut ranges okay so we have the auto Cuts. We have the user point and we have the user ranges. Okay, the the cut options help you to cut the oil, okay, into different hypo components and help you to blend it. Okay, so that's that's exactly its job. So, the first is auto calculate. Auto calculate is when you're telling Isis to use its internal values to cut your oil, okay, into different cuts. Okay, now um, in this case, Hisis will select the number of cuts that you want as the number of hypo components to be generated. For for user ranges, you you will have to give Hisis um, the ranges, the temperature ranges, and the number of cuts you want per range. Okay, um, for user points, you you specify the number of cuts that you, you need. Okay, so we're going to be using the user points, so we need just um five cuts that's about five hypo components that will be calculated so that's all about blending your oil now we can come to our distribution plots all right and we'll be able to know the um liquid volume fraction of the off gas the naphtha kerosene that we can get from this particular crude that has been modeled Okay, and also for we have about um, if you check the we have about 33 percent of 
or 36 percent of gas from this particular crude oil and um the the last trade run is about um less than less than 10 percent that's about five percent the nefta is about um, um 16 percent then uh our kerosene kerosene we have about about 12 12 12 percent or okay about okay this the, the kerosene is about 12 percent okay that's that's a pink box all right so with this you'll be able to know the fraction of each of um your products that you want to get from your um atm that you have registration column all right so having done that the last stage is oil installation we need to install the oil because if we don't install the oil we won't see it in the simulation environment so i'll just need to click on install oil all right and write the name of the oil okay so i'll just come to the stream name and write raw crude raw crude oil or any name you want to give to it okay i'll click on install so that's all to it so i'll just come straight to the simulation environment and um, the oil will be waiting for me in my simulation environment so this is my raw crude so all i need to do is double click on it and um impute the pressure the temperature the um the flow Okay, molar flow, mass flow, standard ideal, liquid volume, depending on the type of flow rate that we have. So if I go to composition, so these are the components that we have. All right. So you can see the component, the hypo components. All right. We have about five of them. Just this, 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 this. We actually have five because we specified the number of cuts to be five. So it generated about five. Um, Hypo component for us. That's all to it about oil characterization. You can try out um, what we just did now. If you have um, different type of receipt data, just try it out. Okay, the more you practice, the more you get used to it. So I hope you've learned something new today. More videos will be coming your way. Try and much as possible to subscribe to this channel. All right. So thank you very much.